Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been a really, really long time, a hot minute as they like to say in YouTube channels, since I've actually done a haul. Because to be honest, they kind of make me feel uncomfortable. I feel like you sort of can't win with them. Um, yeah, so not bragging or showing off, just if people are interested in what I've been picking up and what I've been wanting to try to see if you had heard of it and want to try it too. You can let me know in the comments if you tried any of these. I'd really appreciate that and what your thoughts and opinions are on them. Um, but I feel with hauls you either sort of get affordable stuff and then you get nasty comments about the fact you're buying all affordable stuff. Or if you buy high-end stuff, it's kind of like you're getting those nasty comments about that too. It's just, it's, it's difficult to win. But um, but luckily I don't need to win. It's my channel and um, hopefully you enjoy the video. So yeah, I'm sure if you've clicked on it, you'll have seen it's a haul. And so that's probably what you're after. So I've got a massive load of stuff from Debenhams. All of this is high-end. Um, but I also at the end wanted to show you a few bits that I picked up from Makeup Revolution because I hadn't ordered enough to um, do its own separate haul. So let's make a start. So I really wanted to try some of Kiehl's hair products. As you can see, I've already used this. Um, I read some reviews on it. I realised that um, although you, you may wish to use it sparingly, a lot of people have commented that they only saw the benefit if they put a rod in. So rather than just leave this on for 10 minutes a little bit, I've actually put quite a lot and then left it overnight and I do like the effect of it. It's the Kiehl's Magic Elixir Hair Reconstructing Concentrate with Rosemary Leaf and Avocado Oils. So yeah, it's going well. I do like the scent of that. It's really messy though. I'm having to stand it up on my vanity because this cap, when you twist it down, it really doesn't stop the product coming out. So no good for travel, uh -uh, absolutely not. This is a repeat purchase. It's Clarins. Um, tonic body treatment oil. This is the firming toning one. I'm going away on holiday um, to somewhere where I'm going to have to wear swimwear at the end of August and so I really want to help myself out in the toning firming department. So I do um, exercise four times a week uh, on average so I don't um, think I'm not making an effort that way but you know I'm just trying to help with my skin because you know I have had two babies. Um, this is the Lancome um, Hypnos Drama Mascara. I wanted just the mascara, but it was the same price to get this mascara with an eyeliner and the eye makeup remover. The eye makeup remover is probably going to be too harsh for me, um, as most are. I literally just use coconut oil, as I'm sure you know if you watch my channel a lot. So if I don't get on with that, I'm going to pass it on to a friend. And I don't really wear eyeliner either, but I'll give it a go. Um, so this is a Vice lipstick, the one in back. Talk what I got for free. I, I do really like the lipstick, but I think it's more one that I'm going to be ending up wearing in winter. So I'll just swatch that for you. And I love the fact I've got a little size of it. And um, so as you can see, that's quite a wintry sort of shade. It's even more so when you see it in person and the lights aren't hitting it from your soft boxes. Um, but yeah, this is um this is nice. I like the formula. I've tried it. Um, I don't I don't feel like it's the most flattering on my lips um, because I don't have my lips filled and I am 33 so I feel like if I wear something that's kind of matte and I think that's a comfort matte formula it's not the most flattering but I'll try it over the top of the gloss or I might even try and get the fillers who knows but yeah at the minute it's just um, I'm not sure about it but I really really wanted the Backtalk palette let me know your comments on that but um, I really want to hear other people's thoughts. But I haven't seen a single positive review about that from somebody who's bought it with their own money. And even the people that have been sent it seem to be like not raving, but too, like scared to say negative, but really giving it more of a neutral review. I've been in and swatched it and it seems really poor quality. I mean, I know L'Oreal have now taken over Urban Decay. Like, what are you doing? But it, I don't like it. Like, I wanted it so much. I was going to buy two. I was going to buy one for my best friend because we love Urban Decay Naked 3. But I'm not going to buy it. I'm really not. Um, Benefits Hula. Um, I'm sure everybody has seen this as a cult cool classic. Comes with a little brush. I just have never tried it. I'm just going to do a little swatch of it. This is the um, original. I don't know if you can see that there. It's the original, not the um, sort of light one. So yeah, um, I'm interested to try that. I really want to try that. And I really want to try... Bahama Mama by The Bomb, The Bomb, and I really want to try Too Faced Milk Chocolate, um, well, the Chocolate Solo Bronzer, but I'm scared to buy fragrance products now because I just feel like I'm too sensitive for it. This is Max Minimal Mineralized, <laughs> Mineralized, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light. 
I really like this. I've tried it. At the minute, I'm using some free samples of Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I have dry skin, so I don't really need to use this at the minute. Um, if anything, I'm using like a hydrating spray on top, and I'm like mixing the foundation with an oil and stuff. But I really just wanted to try that. I was just in the mood to buy a load of cult classic stuff I've heard of, but I've just never, never got around to buying. Um, I got which brings me on to my next one. So this is Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I've had a look online and this comes in an oil and I sort of wished I'd got that one now. And I have used it a few times and I'm not really sure what the the deal is about it, but I'll you know it's hard to tell with skincare, so I'll keep at it and let you know. Um I got the wrong shade of Essay Lauder Double Wear, so I'm gonna go back and change that. I mean I can make this work with my NYX white sort of uh, foundation that you you know you dull down the colour but it's even then it's got almost like a grey cast because this is like a 2C1 and it's pure beige and I'm just even though I've always felt I was neutral in Estee, in, in double wear like I don't know it's the warmer tone seemed to suit me I've literally never had that in my life so um the lady in the shop I've tried like four different shades now and I just can't find one that works and I just bit the bullet and bought that one but I am going to exchange it because I've since tried I want to say Ecru and I feel like that's the right shade for me um these were sent for free so I ordered so much stuff they gave me this for free it's the SOS Comfort Nourishing Balm Mask by Clarins I'm really excited to try that that looks right up my alley and also a gentle refiner exfoliating cream in fact I might use um both of them tonight e exciting so yeah uh when i was going through keel's hair care i came across these two that i wanted to try it's a strengthening and hydrating hair oiling cream with olive fruit and avocado oils um so i'm going to give that a go that's for daily leave-in for dry damaged hair and the damage repairing hydrating leave-in treatment for damaged very dry hair so I'm really hoping these this stuff's going to help me out because my hair's starting to go mental with the summer. I mean, you can't, I don't know if you can tell because I've just literally washed it and it, this is as good as it gets, but it's been going really frizzy. It's been a nightmare. So I'm hoping they'll help me out. Um, this is a Hooded Girl's Dream Too Faced Glitter Glue uh, Shadow Primer. So yes, I've got that on today and it really helps. I find that shadows that fade throughout the day, like older shadows, like my Pan That Palette's Max Warm Neutrals, and the, the shadows are fading so quickly, um, I assume because of the age of the palette. Um, it could not be though, because I've had the same, I've been recently having the same problem with other palettes that aren't old. Um, but yeah, I've got that on on my lid today. I do all my sort of crease work and everything and then I pat that on with the top for my lid shade and it's really helping the colours to be vibrant and to last longer. I'm really enjoying it. But uh, I've seen Makeup Revolution have bought a dupe out now so I'm interested to see if that's as good because obviously it'll be hugely cheaper. This is the Lash Primer Plus by Estee Lauder. I ordered this by accident. I wanted the Lancome one. Um, but it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it actually makes... Uh, Clinique's high impact mascara usable because I have three samples of that to get through and on its own it's complete and utter rubbish so with that primer I can actually get through those now this is Clinique's repair wear anti-gravity eye cream I love this I haven't broken this one open yet but I was explaining to the lady how I got a, a reaction to their custom repair eye serum and she gave me a pot sample of that stuff and she said use that for a while from the sample and then you can bring that back and used although we would have accepted it used as well she said oh, you should have just brought the other one back and I wish I had now although my husband is using it uh, but yeah, I've not had no reaction to that, no reaction, and I'm really enjoying the benefits of it, so I really love that. This is the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I can't wait to try that. I've been using my Project Pan um, Emite Diamond Heart Primer, so I've not been able to try that yet, um, but I can't wait to use it. So uh, it obviously, it's just a classic. Everyone raves about it. If, some, if someone raves about it on YouTube, you're bound to want to try it. Um, this is uh, Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil Enhances and Nourishes by Clarins. I love Clarins. Oh, it's just so classy. I got mine in Tangerine, which I think it must be the most popular one because it was nearly sold out. Lovely for summer. I love the scent. I love the feeling of it. I wouldn't say it was any more moisturising than a normal lip gloss. So less moisturising than a normal lip balm, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting to have all these fantastic moisturising properties for your lips, um, with it being a high-end oil-based product. Um, but no, I didn't find that to be the case. Um, and also, 
I, I have, I have, although I'm going to use it up because it's high end, I won't buy it again or anymore. I can tell you that now because it gives me that funny taste in the back of my throat, which I've only ever had with one other lip product, which was a body, the body shop fruit lip balm pots, not the butters, but the little fruity pots. Yeah, it gives like a funny like <clears throat> feeling in the back of my throat. It's ever so strange. I picked up the Clarins Fix Makeup Spray. So yeah, I'm I finished my mix uh, mix Mac Fix Plus, and so I thought I'd give this a try. This mist is so so fine um, that I don't even feel it. I keep spraying it because I'm like, is it going on? It's so fine that I literally my face must be an old piece of leather because I cannot feel this spray going on my face um but yeah it does it does make my makeup last longer I should have bought this and bit the bullet and bought it and wore it on my wedding day but I was on a budget really bad at the time so this long lasting makeup hold hydrates refreshes and soothes so I think I'll probably get more use out of that in autumn winter because at the minute I um actually no I'm not sure but at the minute I feel like my skin's a bit dry maybe it's the less they lord that I keep wearing so um, I'm using more hydrating facial sprays rather than fixing. This is Escada. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. This didn't come from Debenhams. This came from Boots. I went in just to get some SPF for the for the kids for the holiday. And um, someone was like, oh, do you want to try this sample of this reduced perfume? I was like, yeah, okay. And she sprayed it. I was like, oh, it's not for me. It's like floral. I'm over a fruity girl. And she says, oh, you're like this. And she, she she got this out and it was the last bottle and she said another lady had been in early and said, have you got it? And she was going to come later and buy it. So she was going to be gutted. It was gone. Um, and this was £38 from Boots and it wasn't on sale. And it's just the most amazing smell I've sent I've ever smelled. Oh, it's just so good. Just so good. It's melons. It's basically watermelons. If you like watermelons, then you're going to like this. Um, oh so summery so yeah I nearly finished my Clinique Happy which I bought much earlier in the year for this summer and as soon as that's sort of gone I'm going to be moving on to this one and um also using the Avon Tahitian which is like a coconut scented one oh, just love summery smells and um, this is a free sample of Gentleman by Givenchy um for my husband so I hope he likes that and if he does I might buy it him because I think it's completely out now of um man scent man smell okay so let me just show you my makeup revolution bits um i bought their conceal and define full coverage concealer and contour um which i won't be using for contouring i'll just be using it for concealing under the eyes and this is supposed to be a dupe oh it's been out for a while now it's supposed to be a dupe for tarte shape tape i wouldn't even know where to get tarte in the uk but that'd be another cult classic i'd love to try and then I picked up four palettes. So I'm a collector of these chocolate uh, palettes. The only one I haven't got is the original because I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. So why would I need its dupe? And also I haven't got the most recent one because it's literally just came out after I did this order, which is like a violet one, it's like Palmer Violet. It looks amazing, um, but I'm not sure I even wear those colors, but I'm gonna get it anyway, just because I, I get all these particular palettes. I'm not buying any makeup at the minute unless it's something I'm really going to use with the exception of these palettes, which I just have to collect. So this is the Chocolate Elixir palette, which I think, I'm not sure is it, which one it's a dupe for. Oh, I can't remember. Maybe Modern Renaissance um, by Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills, but I'll show you that there. So I haven't really played with these much. Um, I'm finding recently that... I'm really going to crack this out because I've been finding recently that shades on me that are neutral or cool are, I've just become looking more and more out of place on my face. Um, I used to feel like I could get away with both but I've been using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, um, eye palette, which I'll show you. I'm sure you know it has it sectioned out into warm, neutral and cool. Um, so you've got your warm, your neutral, your warm, your cool and your neutral. And I literally, every time I go to use it, I find that if I don't use the warm side, I look a bit stupid. I don't know if it's because it's summer, but um, I hope not, because I don't want to not be able to use like half to two thirds of my makeup collection. So, yeah, that's Chocolate Elixir. Then I've got Chocolate Orange, which is nice and warm, so I shouldn't have any problems with this one. In fact, 
Oh, that's just amazing. Smells like oranges. Oh, I love oranges. I love oranges so, so much. Um, so yeah, if you want any videos swatching these palettes or anything, let me know. In fact, I might actually do a video of my collection of these palettes. But um, this is a chocolate rose gold. The packaging for this looks like that. All the shades and everything on the back. I'm not sure if I showed you the orange one. Unfortunately, this was before they started writing the shade on the palette. They just still put the little slip in. Each have a, a brush, which to be honest, I end up binning. And a nice sturdy mirror and amazing sort of melty chocolate design. So, yeah. Really, really excited to play with that. I've had them ages. I can't believe I've played with them, but I'm really dedicated to my pan -like palette. Um, this is the mint chocolate, which is the last one, and um, yeah, they're all green tones. I really shouldn't have bought this because I've got Sleek's Garden of Eden, which really needs using up. Um, but as I said, I'm just, I'm just obsessed with these particular palettes. Oh, it smells minty. It smells minty. Let's see if the other two smell. So this is, oh gosh, I've got Elixir and Rose Gold mixed up. They look very similar. Thankfully it says it on the back. Oh yeah, that is Rose Gold and it smells like chocolate. I can't smell anything in that one. Um, so yeah, that's everything. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, please be kind in the comments. I don't know if it's just because I'm starting to grow a bit. I mean, I'm still less than 2,000 subscribers, but I know the bigger you get sometimes, the meaner people can be. And yeah, keep it nice, keep it fresh. I can't wait to hear from some of the people that are regulars that I've really missed. And I'm going to get straight onto the comments as soon as possible and reply to you, especially you, Anne, because you've asked me about that highlighter and I've, I've completely keep forgetting to reply. So I'm going to go straight and reply to you. Thanks for always supporting me. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Bye.